Okay, so yesterday I put this image on my stories and asked you guys what you thought it was. And there was a lot of different uh, guesses. There were a number of people who guessed that it was a beaver tail, which it is. But here is what I wanted to show you. So in animals, they have these vertebrae in their tails like that beaver tail that are called caudal vertebrae, okay? Humans don't have those. Humans have this right here, which we call the coccyx, okay? Tailbone, we usually call it. Uh, now, this coccyx is just rudimentary vertebrae. There is no nerves that come off of this whatsoever. If you see these uh, holes here, that is where what we call spinal nerves come out of the vertebrae. This is the sacrum here, so sacral nerves are going to come out of these holes here to innervate the tissues of the pelvic floor and the leg and foot, okay? This coccyx here, tailbone, is really just a anchor point for musculature in the human, okay? Now, the interesting thing, if that's not already interesting, the interesting thing is that the spinal cord here that comes down through the vertebrae is actually not present in the lower lumbar spine and in through the sacrum here, okay? So what happens is the spinal cord, as we grow, our skeleton outgrows the rate of the spinal cord growth, okay? And so the spinal cord kind of gets pulled upwards through the spine here, and we have what's called the cauda equina, which is translates to horse's tail in Latin. And the cauda equina comes down through these lower lumbar vertebrae into the sacrum. But in animals, it continues down into those caudal vertebrae. So there is a anatomical difference here between humans and animals in these structures deep within the body, which is really kind of cool. So the cauda equina, clinically speaking, is of note because these vertebrae right here, there's spaces in between them. Do you see that? And that is where lumbar punctures or uh, epidurals occur because there is no spinal cord in the way. There's just nerves that can kind of move out of the way for that flexible needle that goes into these spaces for clinical reasons. So that's kind of cool. So if you've ever wondered why they do those um, punctures in these areas, it's because of the cauda equina, which continues down into the tail of animals.